Matter in our surrounding. This is class 9 science in CRT. Solution chapter number 1. So, we are taking question answers on matter in our surroundings. The first is convert the, the temperature into Celsius scale. So, how to convert the Kelvin to Celsius? We just have to subtract 273 from these numbers. So, 300 minus 273 is 27 degrees centigrade and 573 minus 273 is 300 degree centigrade. Convert the following temperatures into Kelvin scale. So, as we converted the Kelvin to centigrade by subtracting 273, in this case, we are going to add 273 in order to convert the Kelvin scale, means making the Kelvin scale from the degree centigrade. So, 25 plus 273 is 298 and 373 plus 273 is 646 Kelvin. Give reasons for these observations. Naphthalene ball disappear with time without leaving any solid. So, naphthalene ball they vaporize. Since it vaporizes, you will not see any trace of it. Naphthalene ball they show the property of sublimation. This is very important. Sublimation. So, evaporation takes place of naph naphthalene. Uh, that is why it disappears during the course of time. You might have encountered the odonyl, etc. The the evaporator in the toilets most of the time they by the course of time they sublime we can get the smell of perfume sitting several meters away yes because the perfumes are made in order to vaporize they vaporize very fast and the because they are in the form of vapors now they when they come out of the bottle they mix into the air and air flows everywhere that is why you are able to smell the perfume uh, if you are sitting several meters away from uh, where the perfume bottle is open. Arrange the following in increasing order of forces of attraction between the particles. So, water, sugar, oxygen, they have particles inside them and they have certain kind of, of attraction forces. So, first is sugar because this is hard, solid material. Water is liquid and then the oxygen which is uh, the gaseous form. So, gas has particles which have less attraction sugar has more attraction what is the physical state of water at 25 degree centigrade 0 degree centigrade and 100 degree centigrade so 0 degree this 25 degree is almost uh, room temperature 0 is uh, lower 100 is higher so let us start by saying this 0 25 and 100 at 0 it will be solid and liquid at 25 degree it will be liquid and at 100 degree, if you boil the water, you will see the liquid and the vapors together. The liquid is boiling and the vapors are being produced. Give two reasons to justify water at room temperature is a liquid. So, water at room temperature is liquid because it has fluidity, it can flow and it has definite volume. You know, if you fill it in, the, in a glass or a bottle, you will see that it is taking definite volume. But there is no definite shape. You can put it in the bottle, you can put it in the glass or anywhere. So, there is no specific volume. And iron almira is a solid at room temperature. So, the iron, iron, iron almira or any, anything which is solid, this is solid at room temperature because it is rigid and it has a definite shape. Next is why is ice at 273 Kelvin more effective in cooling than water at the same temperature? This is because the solid, there are certain phases, you know, solid, liquid, gases. So, the energy content is different. There are, there are latent energy, latent energies of vaporization, latent energy of fusion, etc. So, the ice at 273K or Kelvin is less energetic than water. Why? Because the difference in the latent heat of fusion, this is very important, latent heat of fusion, which is present in water at the same temperature, in the form of extra energy that is why it is having an extra energy that is how so next is what produces more severe burns boiling water or steam steam produces more severe burns than boiling water again the latent content takes place this is because the steam has more energy than boiling water right because uh, we have latent heat of vaporization the form 
the steam has more energy than boiling water because of the latent heat of vaporization it carries. Name A, B, C, D, E, F in the following diagram showing the change in state. So, we are changing A in A solid to liquid, this is melting. Then, next one is B, which is liquid to gas, which is boiling. Then, we have C, which is coming back from uh, gas to liquid, which is condensation. Then, coming back from liquid to solid, which is solidification. E is directly converting solid to gas, which is the sublimation. And now, Converting the gas to solid F, which is decrease heat and increase pressure. Here we increase heat and decrease pressure. So in this case, it is sublimation. These are question answers on matter and its surrounding. Thank you so much and take care of yourself.